We're hitting the road. It's field trip time on KWTX News 10 this morning. We've got the whole anchor team out here at Collins Street Bakery along I-35 in Belmy. They are famous for their fruitcakes, and none of us have ever tried fruitcakes, so we've decided let's go see how to make them and what they're made of. Yeah, these famous fruitcakes are made in Corsicana. Y'all ready for a road trip? Let's go. Anything else for you today, ma'am? How's it going, brother? Yeah, we got inside the bakery. Oh, there was plenty to see. All sorts of great food all around us. But we wanted to find out, how does all this get made? Once we walked inside, it was a sight to be seen. These world-famous fruitcakes were being made right in front of us. The mixing of the dough, delicately placing the pecans on top, the baking, the packing. Right now, we're making about 20000 a day. We've converted a lot of people. If they would ever just taste our cookie, our fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> we need Dan to load the ball up into the depositor. Stuff right there. I have to say a huge thank you to everyone in Corsicana and also at the Bell Mead um, Collins Street Bakery. We had so much fun out there, and just to see the process of it was amazing. To and be a part big of it. thanks to Jim Peeler, a photographer, because yes. he made that look a lot better than probably any of us <laughs> would have ever done. So a lot of fun. This all came about because we were all three of us driving on the interstate, and we saw the Collins Street Bakery. And we're like, have you had a fruitcake? Nope, nope. None of us have ever had fruitcake before. As crazy as that sounds, so we decided to give it a try. Yeah, we, we tried them during the five o'clock hour, and. I, I'm guessing y'all agree. I was pleasantly surprised. I very was good, too. very yummy. And uh, if you ever want to try them, go to Collins Street Bakery. They'll let you try the samples. Uh, very good. So uh, yeah. they definitely have got a bad rap compared to what I, and I thought they And would their be. cookies, too. And their yeah, cookies. cookies. <laughs> we love that part. We'll be right back. People ask me, email me, Twitter me. Where do you go to eat? What's your favorite dish? What's the best thing you've ever had? And that's why we're here now. Not only to tell you what we'd love to eat, but where you can go to get it. One of the things that I love to either send to somebody or have somebody send to me during the holidays is a fruitcake. Seriously? Fruitcake? You cannot convince me. I think fruitcake's gotten a bad name over the years. I want to try to turn that around. That better be a damn good fruitcake. This one? I think it's the best one. Strangely enough, the other day in the office, I had this amazing, amazing fruitcake from the Collins Street Bakery in Corsicana, Texas. So I cut it up. 20 minutes later, it was gone. Everybody ate the fruitcake. It's fantastic. They've been making this fruitcake at Collins Street Bakery since 1896. We're the largest fruitcake maker in the world. We'll do about a million fruitcakes a year. That's a lot of fruitcakes. Obviously, somebody out there likes them. I'm one of them. 
Ours is 27% pecans, and that's what makes ours different than the rest, with just enough batter to hold it together. We're going to start mixing our fruit and nuts. I think why I like this one the best is the ingredients are fantastic. We have the world's largest pecan shelling plant right here in Corsicana. We shell our nuts fresh daily. They get their pineapples from Costa Rica. There's papaya. Raisins from California. They get their cherries from Washington State. Wherever the fruit grows the best, that's where you get them and bring them in. We're going to coat this with our flour. Now we're going to add our slurry. The ingredients are basically flour, eggs, honey. Our slurry is there just to hold our main ingredients together. They pour them into a mold. And they decorate with maraschino cherries and pineapple, and they also put pecans on top. And then it bakes in the oven for about an hour and a half. And then it goes to a cooling station. And then it gets wrapped up and shipped to you. This is how it comes in this beautiful tin. You open it up, and it looks like a Christmas wreath. Not only is it beautiful, but once you get into it, delicious. It's soft but crunchy because of the nuts that are in there. But mostly, you're really getting the sweetness of the candied fruit. It's one of the best things I ever ate. That's why I like this show. It makes me want to try fruit cake. Now, if there's one classic Christmas dish that is constantly getting a bad rap, it's fruit cake. Mm -hmm. Well, we're about to change that. We sent two correspondent Jason Roberts to a bakery in Corsicana, Texas, that's been making mouth-watering fruitcakes. You've never heard that together. For more than 100 years. Check it out. <laughs> fruitcake, the love it or leave it dessert. And I'm here at Fruitcake Central in Corsicana, Texas. And I'm going to pick up a few tips on how to make this nostalgic Christmas treat. We started in 1896. A German baker met an entrepreneur here in town, and they created Call Street Bakery. Corsicana was an oil boom town. A lot of people started to come into this town, and it just grew like that, and we grew with it. Lines of uh, four-strong carriages just piled high with boxes of fruitcakes. Fruitcakes here. Get your fruitcakes. Just after the turn of the century, Ringling Brothers had come through. They bought a lot of our cakes, and they went on overseas. They handed them out to family and friends, who then wrote us letters saying, please send us another one of those cakes. And that's kind of how we took off internationally. Where's the strangest place you've ever shipped a fruitcake? Iceland, Antarctica, and on top of Kilimanjaro. In fact, we get letters that just say Fruitcake USA and they come to us. Yeah. <laughs> fruitcake is all about family. My grandmother had the best recipe, but I've never perfected fruitcake. I'd love yeah. to see how you guys do it. Let's bake a cake. We have 70 pounds of pecans that'll go in each batch. 70 pounds? 70 pounds. This is papaya and orange peel, golden sultana raisins. Here's the pineapple. <laughs> you didn't tell me how much that weighed. 55 pounds of pineapple. That's heavy. It's not a lot of flour. The dough only makes up about 20, 25% of the cake. The rest is fruit and nuts. Oh my gosh, this is a workout. <laughs> now, let's mix it. This is eggs, honey, and margarine. This will bind the batter. Wow, look at that. It's just like me. It's 75% fruit and nuts. I mean, just chock full of it. Is that some cherries? Is this it for the ingredients? We don't add anything else. We've had this recipe since 1896. We follow it religiously. From here, we'll take this bowl around to our depositor. It will then go down the lines where our decorators will hand decorate each cake. We can turn out 20,000 cakes in a day. A day? A day. We'll crank through a million cakes this year. From here to the four corners of the world. Absolutely and beyond. We're going to challenge you to try to do that. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. Hey, look, I'm beating you. Mm -hmm. That and that one is wrong. That uh, one's not good. All these pecans are hot. Nope. Wrong. Nope. <laughs> so clearly I made no cakes today. Good job. Mm. What do you think? That's as comforting as a cuddle from Nana. I love it. Wow. All right, you guys, what do you think? I, I got to tell you, I am not a lover of, of fruitcake. And this is actually pretty delicious. It's the best fruitcake I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? In the world of fruitcake. I like it. And there you have it, mouth-watering fruitcake. Okay, we'll be right back. Woo!